based on angles, what are the different type of triangles I can have? So I can have an acute angle triangle. What's an acute angle triangle? In this case, all the three angles have to be less than 90 or all the angles have to be acute. So we know that since the total is 180, a 60, 60, 60 would be an acute angle triangle. It could also be a 50, 50 and 80, still an acute angle triangle and so on. Similarly, we have a obtuse angle triangle. What's an obtuse angle triangle? Where one angle is greater than 90, only one angle and the other two angles will be acute. So you can see the diagram in this case, angle ABC is greater than 90 while the other two angles are acute. The next would be a right angle triangle. I'm sure you've heard of that before. A right angle triangle will be a triangle where one angle is 90 and hence automatically the other two angles become complementary. So in this figure, if you look angle ABC is 90 degrees, it will automatically mean that angle A plus angle C will have to be 90 and hence they are complementary angles. So well, let's see a summary of all the different types of angle, uh, triangles we have seen in this case. So in classification of triangles, we'll have based on sides, we'll have three triangles. That is, we'll have a scalene triangle where all sides are unequal, all angles are unequal. Isosceles triangle, two sides equal, two angles equal. Equilateral triangle, all three sides equal, all angles 60. Based on angles, you'll have an acute angle triangle, all three angles acute. Obtuse angle triangle, one angle is obtuse, two angles acute. And third, right angle triangle, one angle is 90 degrees and the other two angles are complementary. So that is it with the properties or the different types of triangles.